Welcome to your weekend, love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. Welcome to your weekend, love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. Welcome to your weekend, love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome to your weekend, love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. Welcome to your weekend, love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. Scorpio, welcome to your weekend, love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome to your love eyes, love eyes, love eyes. Scorpio, welcome to your weekend, love eyes. <laughs> And I hope this video finds you vibing highly here. My hair keeps sticking to these nails because she didn't file them down right, y'all. <laughs> but welcome to your weekend Love Vibes Scorpios reading here. This is your weekend Love Vibes edition. Uh, I hope this video finds you guys vibing highly here, Scorpios. Uh, how are you doing today, Scorpio? I tried to get outside, but the sun is sun. And, and so... We're inside, so <laughs> I'm going to try to go live this weekend here because I haven't went live here lately, but I'm going to have to do a poll to see when is it good for everyone because, <laughs> you know, I don't know if you if you like it better in the evening times or in the morning times and afternoons. I want you to let me know in the comments below. Just let me know in the comments below. Uh, so check it out, Scorpios. Welcome back for another Scorpio love reading in this joyous June love energy. Uh, shout out to everyone who is stopping by for your first time. I am Brown Eyes Intuitions here. Um, I am the beautiful host here. Uh, this is all about the Scorpios over here. And if you want to grow, elevate, heal, and um, stand in your power and evolve spiritually, then you are at the right place. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, share this video, thumbs up this video, leave me a high vibrational comment. Let me know that you have newly subscribed. Welcome. Also, feel free to uh, consider becoming part of the Brown Eyes Intuitions members as well. You can be a tarot question uh, Scorpio where you get two questions answered a month or you could just be a supporter of mine. Um, highly favored where you do get your your readings here daily or personal readings and you got your own members uh, readings here and um, you get to participate and I, I'm trying to be more active. I'm just multitasking a lot of things, but uh, just bear with me. Uh, it, it'll get better. It'll get better as I begin to grow and elevate and look, you can't put no time on it. I'm not in competition with nobody. I'm a one woman show over here and I think very big. So sometimes it takes time, uh, but welcome to all of my subscribers and my members. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, D. Yonero, uh, Phoenix Rise and Dirt, uh, Carlos Bailey, uh, Verna, um, Lakeisha, uh, Katina, uh, Angela. <sighs> Wait a minute. Because I said I was going to say this and I don't want to forget. I want to shout out. I don't want to get here and start forgetting y'all. So bear with me. I'm going to shout you out proper like, okay? We're going to get this proper like. We're going to get this work in, okay? <laughs> So let's see here. All right, let's go on down the list then. Shout out to Shanice. Shout out to Ray uh, M. B. Guini, uh, Makiki, Makiki Station, Tara Smith, Emma B. Uh, Dianera, uh, Me S. Mimi, Shiana, Carly Love, uh, Joakima Holiday, Bridget, Artia, Kimberly L. Marsha, Marshall, Precious Taylor, Wonder Vatter, Janae Wynn, Dale Yacht, Shay Wright, Jackie Jones, Brandy Sitton, Water C, Tarot Mystic, Ebony Evans, Cash Williams, Ronnie V. 1110, Nakia Newton, Miss Nina, Jasmine Davis, Tammy Roker, Shantae Rivera, Kay, 
Just Scorpio, Goddess Ra, JP, Willow, Kaylee Jones, Spencer Red 101, Huna, Hana, Missy T, Deborah Lomax, Brenda, Agassin, Monica, B Swan, Kimberly Ferris, Natasha Hills, Pink Bubbles 305, Miss um, Shay, what's good? <laughs> Stephanie Trice, Carlos Bailey, uh, Tess uh, Jackson, Latoya Asia, uh, Knight Nightner Fam, Miss Gushy 007, Jonathan, Scott E L V, D D Taylor, uh, the Side Woman. Uh, the inside woman, rather, my bad, sweetie. Shelby uh, Robinson, Dirt Biker. Hey, Dirt. Uh, Danielle Peters, Melanie 1116, Tessie Freeman, Lakeisha Cook, Tisha Freeman. Uh, okay, wait, Teresa uh, Benson, Scorpion Han, Stephanie Lowe, Desert Lotus, Golden Girl 88. Hey, Golden Girl 88. <laughs> I always see your spark, your smiling face. I remember your face. Jacqueline Morgan, Lady Starfish, um, Lady Pluto, uh, Aletha Bright, Val Smith, Toy Charles 31, Ivory Verna Smith, uh, Selena Nichelle, Shakina Johnson, Egyptian Goddess, Miss Lisa Elio, Peanut Butter Girl 72, uh, Julie Birchanel, Missy 77, Dil Prithiero, AMI MCM, Regina Moya, Juanita Wonder, Halden, Angela, uh, Frida Watts, The Fortune Report, Roshana Morrison, Kimberly Naquiem, H Bunny B, uh, and Deanna. <laughs> hey, Deanna, I was trying to treat you to lunch, Deanna, but you didn't respond. Ooh, but it's still somebody that I'm going to treat to lunch, y'all. Don't worry about it. I ain't forgot about you. I see you. I, I'm, I'm looking at Ivory. So, wait a minute. Oh, I got some five-monthers. Okay, so, okay. Most of the five-monthers have come up, though. Except for Deanna, that's how come I was looking for Deanna. Deanna, get with me. After Deanna, I, I'm looking at. I think I seen Regina. Like I said, some of y'all don't be responding. All right. But anyway, shout out to my members. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So time and time, I'm going to just jump in. And instead of pulling, um, maybe I do a free reading for someone. But like I said, every once in a while, I'm just going to pick you out, especially I'm probably going to be going based on the, the, the length of time that you've been here. And I'm just going to be calling you out and then I'm going to ask you to drop that cash app. And that's how I'm going to do it. That's for my members here. So shout out to my members. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel in any and every way that you do. I really do appreciate you. So let's begin this reading here, Scorpio, with your fortune cards, because you know I got your fortune cards. Let's see what do you have coming your way in love. What does the universe need you to know in this time and this current space in your life here? Are y'all going on a date this weekend? <laughs> What you got going on in your life, Scorpio? What's up? I said, what's up, Scorpio? What's up? <laughs> what is up, Scorpio? What's up? What do you have planned? I want to know your plans. Are you going to sit in here and watch a movie? I did get a chance to see the new Transformers. I love sci-fi movies here. I love sci-fi movies. Um, I tell you, so many different spiritual movies coming out a lot. Look, <laughs> I'm telling you, in today's day and time, you don't need to look down. You need to look up. <laughs> OK, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right, Spirit, what message do you have for my beautiful Scorpios for this weekend? Love vibes, energy. Spirit, what's going on for my Scorpios weekend? Love vibes, energy. What does Scorpio need to know? Oh, you got the eagle again. OK, you got the eagle. And then you have your flowers. So, OK, eagles and your flowers. Now, you are very familiar with this deck here, Scorpios, but at this time and space, I feel like you need this. You need two things. So let's see who you got. Eagle. Your eagle says you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength, Scorpio. See? 
So it seems like your intuition is being heightened here. You're not going to be stagnant. You're not going to be second guessing yourself. And you're going to know that the sky is the limit. And see, with this energy, you remember Spirit says that you have a, a, a bird's side view. You get to see things from a higher perspective, which is a spiritual perspective here. Most people can't see things like that, but you're getting the inside view here because I feel like you have favor on your life, Scorpios. And then, of course, it says be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. See there? Spirit say you don't have to be afraid to give. You don't have to be afraid to live. You know, because sometimes you you cut corners on your own self because you're afraid that you don't have enough to, to make ends meet. No, that's a that's a, a form of fear. Poverty minded here. Poverty mindset is is fear based because, you know, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know that my thought had to be wealth in order for my physical things to change. I didn't even know that I could change my thought. And I've shared this before, but I'm just saying your attitude plays a vital role in what we attract and what we are able to manifest here. And so spirit is letting you know that you're very, very successful. You don't have to be afraid that you're not going to have to be enough, uh, that, that, th that things are not going to be enough for you. You have everything you need. Let me do this. Let me do this eagle here. Like, I feel like you have an added advantage here. It says the magnificent ego flies. It says you may be recovering from, wait a minute. Okay, this card represents spiritual protection, Scorpio. Legend says it is the eagle that carries your prayers to uh, heaven. Uh, be reassured, Scorpio, that the eagle will impart much spiritual knowledge to you and on your journey and can help you feel connected to your guides. Now it says a relationship that has been a troublesome will either resolve itself and grow stronger or, it, or you will decide to let go of it. The eagle's power can also make you more uh, charismatic to the opposite sex and your easy strength may attract many new suitors. See, so don't be in that queen of swords energy when folks trying to swarm around you. <laughs> Spirit say your charm is what's going to get them, baby. Spirit say give them that Scorpio charm. They can't resist that Scorpio charm. It says take a major leap towards forward in your progress when your money or career. It says the potential to achieve greatness is yours, Scorpios. It says you could lead, you could land your dream job or gain extra money from a new pay raise. Uh, a job offer, inheritance, or lucky win. Your charm, Scorpio, on the work front may also help you snare that deal or you may finally receive recognition for past efforts here. See, and that's all in this eagle energy. You see, spirits say you are soaring towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. The higher you get, the stronger you are, Scorpio. You are heading towards your destiny. Your destiny is to be successful here because these are the cards that came out. And you got a number 11 too. So you know that this is a spiritual thing. You know, it's like you've always had it, but sometimes you need to be reminded of it. And so it says, Scorpio, this card is all about abundance and being grateful for what you have. Spend time outdoors in the garden or a park and appreciate the beauty of the flowers around you. Give some to a friend, partner, or colleague in appreciation here. Flowers also represents beauty. Appearances are of the utmost importance at this moment, Scorpio. So give yourself that long awaited color change or haircut and get some trendy new gear. Be positive. Your future will be filled with much happiness and pure joy. So it says flowers are t tokens of love, recognition, sympathy, and consolation. They can bring warmth, understanding, and cheer to all kinds of relationships. Be generous and share their joy with those who are in most need. Don't forget to bring fresh flowers into your own space as they will lift your spirit and the energy to the moon here, Scorpios. This card also represents coming love, uh, represents strong love. Uh, if someone is on your mind, Scorpio, constantly, and you keep going over past uh, conversations or messages received, this card smiles favorably on the outcome and offers good solutions, happy reunions, or wishes coming true. Visitors may arrive unexpectedly, 
So stock the fridge and be prepared for a social time. Pleasant surprises awaits. Now it says flowers foretell the success of new projects and the fulfillment of dreams. Um, castles in the sky could become a reality. Those searching for jobs could be pleasantly surprised or an ad in the newspaper could end up making you money. Your upbeat, enthusiastic new aura will make you attractive on the social scene and help you to network brilliantly career or business wise. Don't dismiss your intuition. Positive thoughts and actions will be well rewarded. Spirit telling you to get it, baby. So in other words, Spirit said, now is a good time to do some things you've always wanted to do. You were afraid to do because luck is on your side. You are soaring high because it is your destiny. It is your destiny to be on top. Some of you guys are working hard. Some of you guys are educating yourself. You're going back to school. You're learning things. You're getting better and better and better in life and on your job. I just feel like overall, you, you're doing, you're putting that work in, Scorpio, with this Eight of Pentacles here. See? You got the Eight of Pentacles because I feel like you guys' life is going through a major transformation here with your energy here, Scorpios, because I feel like you have recovered or you are recovering from an ending of, or, or it's almost like whatever this ending is. And now that you are recovering, balance is about to be restored back into your life. Could be dealing with the Libra here with somebody here who is a soulmate connection of yours, Scorpio, because they are truly watching you. They've always had eyes on you. For some of you guys, it could be a Gemini here, Scorpio, because there is an opportunity coming your way with this Ace of Pentacles and this freaking Queen, I mean, full card, because look, you have the Queen of Wands. So I don't know, you may be in the Queen of Wands energy right now, Scorpios, where you're flexing and you're doing your own thing here. So some of you guys are working on yourself. You, like, like you just heard the car say, now is a good time to work on your appearance here. Whatever it is, you want to change your haircut, you want to go get a nice shave, uh, you want to go get a pedicure, manicure, uh, primp yourself up here because I feel like in, in high vibrational energy, you're going to want to do these things and it's, it's only going to put you in a position to be uh, chased. <laughs> OK, hashtag Scorpio is chased. OK, I feel like someone is going to chase you because you're in this Queen of Wands energy, Scorpios. And some of you guys are just focusing on your work, but you got opportunities coming your way. And like I say, you got you a person coming in here. <laughs> Your person could wear dreadlocks here. Your person could be a Jamaican. Your person could be from another country here, Scorpio. Uh, but, the, but the point of the matter is somebody watching you. And I feel like this is, look, you got the two of cups and the lover's card. So this is a very, very strong spiritual connection that is coming your way. The only thing spirit is asking you to do is to put yourself in the position to receive it. Get in the way of what is coming to you, Scorpio, because I feel like it's good. Now, some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini, an Aries, a Libra, or a Scorpio, okay? You got the uh, Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Four Swords, Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, and the only cups in here is the Two of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And then, like I say, you got those majors, which is Scorpio, Libra, Aries, and Gemini. So let's see. Because you got somebody coming in here to you, Scorpio. You definitely do. And they're watching you. You always have someone observing you. And you could be watching somebody here too. But I feel like for some of you guys, it could be one person. Somebody may be watching you on your job. So don't be surprised if you can start getting a lot of attention on your job, especially if you're putting in that work here. I feel like somebody's about to get recognized and get some type of big monetary bonus here. Especially if you're not moping around here sad or nothing. You know, this queen of wands, she, she go get it. She don't make no apologies for being herself. She's just living. She's living her life and she's enjoying herself. And she looks good. She's very, very confident. So you ain't, this is the type of energy that ain't walking around here with their head hung low. So I feel like in this four swords, y'all done healed y'all from an ending. And now it's all about you, ain't it, Scorpio? It's all about Scorpio now. 
Because especially if you ain't showing up in no Queen of Cups, it's almost like, look, I, I'm going to put love on the back burner right now. Because you sure got a Two of Cups coming in, some type of partnership here. All right, Spirit, let's see. So you have the Eight of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. Spirit, why is this Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Now, somebody could very well be saying, look here now, I want to put that work in with you. <laughs> they want to put that work in with you now, Scorpio. Now, they could be saying, look here now, I can work, I can work with you. And I, I can work with you. Could be, could be somebody saying that. For somebody, you may have end, you may have lost a job here and you're trying to recover from it. But like I say, you got the justice and the ace of pentacles. You will bounce back. All right, spirit, the eight of pentacles for Scorpios. Why is the eight of pentacles here? Eight of pentacles, eight of wands here. Now, some of you guys, whatever you're working on is about to take off here. So if you've been working on a personal project here, it's about to take off, Scorpio. If there's been some stagnation in your work, if there's been some st stagnations and delays here, something is about to improve because things are moving now. It's especially if there's things that slowed down here because maybe you wasn't into it. Especially if you had to deal with some type of transformation or some type of ending here. Or, or you lost something here. It's almost like if you, you know, it's, it's just like life happens. You know how life happens and it, you have to um, rearrange things just to keep up. So you may have found yourself rearranging things to keep up because life happened. But I feel like you're going to bounce back better than you did, than you were even, whatever predicament you were at first. Because you remember the ego represents uh, elevation, expansion, growth. Um, the sky's the limit. What they say, a castle in the sky. So some of you guys are really, if you did lose something, it's only to prepare you for something much, 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 much better, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, the Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Why is this here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands here? Somebody could be about to call you and say, let's work it out. Seven of Wands. Now someone here... Now, maybe you're guarded here. Maybe you're protecting your, your, your interest here. Maybe you, maybe you got something focused on you. Maybe somebody want to come in. Oh, somebody won't. <laughs> so what I'm seeing here is, Scorpio, somebody's trying to, somebody's coming to you. You got somebody that's coming to you. And this is the type of person here who, with this Eight of Pentacles, they, they want to do something for you, Scorpios. And I feel like they're not going to back down. This is somebody here who knows what they want, I feel like, because they didn't thought about it. Six of Pentacles and the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. This is somebody here who wants to come in here and give you things and do things here. This is what I feel like here, Scorpios. Now, I could represent somebody here. See, I feel like somebody wants things to move. Somebody wants things to, to take off. And the only way things are going to move is if, they, if, 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 if they're giving to the relationship. So this is a well thought out strategy, strategy that someone is using here. It's almost like somebody saying, well, guy, if I want things to move, because it could have been an end. This could be somebody here who you ended things with. Uh, and now, now they're thinking things logically because they're trying to strategize. And their way is, well, the only way we can work on it is, is if I'm giving. Maybe this King of Swords was not giving. Maybe this person was detached, you know. So let's see. You got you got uh, your energy, death energy. Spirit, why is death here for Scorpios? Clarify death. Death is two of pentacles. Like I feel like, dang, what's going on here? See? Somebody's watching you. See, this has been this King of Swords been watching you here. See, just as there it is again here. So what I feel like is that after this end here, here this person is thinking in their head here because you got this King of Swords here. How can they make it right with this Justice card? Because you got it twice. This is someone here after things ended with between you and a person. Obviously, somebody wasn't giving with this King of Swords energy because you got the Six of Pentacles showing up now. So this is someone here who's trying to figure out how can they make it right? Okay, 
How can they make it right? They're watching. You got the page of swords twice. Now, this person could be soliciting advice from friends here. You know, I got this sweetheart. I got this little sweet dame over here, Scorpio, this sweet dude over here, Scorpio. And, you know, I, I, I've been kind of selfish. You know, I, I really hasn't. I really have never let this person know how I really feel about them. Uh, and now things are over between us. How do I make this right here? This could be it too. Because like I say, you got the page of swords twice and the justice card twice. Right. So this is someone here, here who is watching you, observing you, tr probably trying to see, especially if for some of you guys, you may have blocked communication with this person here. And all they're trying to do is just come in and work things out with you, Scorpio. But some of y'all don't want to hear it. All right, Spirit, why is the Four Swords here? Clarify the Four Swords for Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Recuperating, recu recovery, resting, meditating, healing. See? They trying to come in here and steal that hard back here. See? Now, this could have been somebody here. Now, this could have been them. After this long break, after this ending, now, they, now they're thinking about things. That they could have been healing, too. Somebody's isolated themselves. Somebody's isolated their heart to heal. And I feel like it could be this person here. After they done healed, now here they come. Wanting to offer you their cup of love here. Somebody here who's in search of hope is romantic when it comes to you. They're looking in search of their soulmate. And here it is with this two of cups. Could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces Scorpio. Someone could be stressing about it. See, somebody's in their head. You got the nine of swords, six of staffs, and the devil card. Somebody's trying to figure out how to get your attention. Somebody's calling. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> it was my phone. It's like my phone folks calling me and stuff, and folks don't never call me. <laughs> Ooh, but like I said here, I feel like this is somebody here who is trying to figure out how to get your attention back on them. Because I feel like you're not paying them no attention. You probably posting videos of you all out there drunk and drinking and with your homegirls and your homeboys living your best life. And you having fun and you ain't catering to their emotions. <laughs> you are here the life of the party and you looking all good and things. And somebody trying to figure out how to get your attention back, Scorpios. And they're stressed out about it. See, this is about somebody's overthinking things. You got the four swords, the knight of cups, the nine of swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, and the six of wands, and the devil card. This is somebody here who, uh, now that they didn't thought about it, feel like somebody's in... <laughs> they, they, they didn't thought about it here. They didn't thought about some stuff here. But I feel like this is... Now, it could also represent you, 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 you to yourself. You done shut things down. You done took a break. You secluding yourself because you're trying to maintain your peace. And now here they are trying to get your attention again with this Knight of Cups. And it is stressing them out because they want your attention. See, some of y'all done shut down on this person. And all they can stress about is how they can come in here and get your attention again, Scorpio. Could be a Capricorn here, see? And this person wants you to... They say you ain't saying nothing, God dang it. They say you ain't sleep. Get your... <laughs> They said, get your butt up, Scorpio. You ain't sleep. You see me. You see me trying to get your attention, God damn. I know I messed up. And see, by you not giving in to this person, Scorpio, it messes with their head here. See? The devil card and the nine of swords. See? This person's trying to get your attention. And by you not giving this person attention, it messes with their head. See? Nine of swords. If somebody here is trying to figure out how can they get your attention back on them, Scorpio, because you ain't paying them no attention. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Capricorn. You got the Libra. You got Scorpio. You got Libra again. And you got Gemini. And you have Aries. So now you have. Let's see what this page of swords is. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. You already got the page of swords with the uh, with the justice, justice card here. Like I say, this, this person is really being affected by this ending here. See? But I feel like this transformation is helping you, but it's not helping them. See, somebody here, 
They don't know. They're like, I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> they don't know what to do. See, they watching you and they like, damn, what do I do? It's over. Okay. Is it really? Now, how, how do I go make it right now? I'm, I'm looking for clues, but Scorpio ain't saying nothing. Scorpio ain't, ain't, ain't calling me. Scorpio done shut down. I can't even read Scorpio. How, how do I make this right? See, how do I get their attention back on me? Because somebody, somebody, I think, I feel like somebody done messed around and they done got that cold side of Scorpio. Okay, that's, that's all it is. That Scorpio that don't care about love now. When you get a Scorpio that ain't all into the love energy, then you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you in trouble, partner. So now you have the Page of Swords again. Spirit, why is the Page of Swords here for Scorpios? See, this is what they're seeing you do. Somebody's trying to figure out how to get your attention because when they see you, they realize that every, every time they uh, are looking in your direction, there is some type of blockages here because you're holding back. See, some, somebody here trying to figure out how to get, get your bag, but they looking at you like, God dang. <laughs> I come over here, you block. Come over here, you ain't studying me. Well, what's the deal? You, you, you used to say something. At least you was cussing me out or you would say something. You ain't saying nothing. All right, Spirit, what's up with this page of swords? What's up with this page of swords? Mm. Four of wands here. For some of y'all, this person may be looking at you and feel like you're holding back because you may have somebody else. OK, this is why this person wants your attention. And like I said, for some of y'all, when, when your attention is not on this person, it triggers them because now they all in their head and they're thinking things now. You remember, you got the King of Swords here. This King of Swords is in this Nine of Swords energy because they're watching. They're trying to figure you out because they have did some. I feel like this wasn't a participating energy in the past here. And now that they realize that you're gone, now they're freaking out. Now they're trying to figure out how to get your attention back on them because when they see you, I feel like, and you don't say nothing. It's not like when they see you, it's almost like, if you're in this four swords energy where you're trying to recuperate from what maybe went on in your relationship with them because of them. So it's almost like you're not giving into this person anymore. You're not. So now that triggers them because now this person may be feeling like, well, okay, well you holding back is because you got something else going on. See, like I said, when you don't respond to this person, you don't give them any attention. It makes them start overthinking things you got this king of swords the nine of swords and the devil card now they're overthinking things because all they're trying to do is figure out how to make it right but for some of y'all they can't even get to you all right the page of swords page of swords see they may be saying look they took too long look you got the ace of pentacles twice see like I say, this ending hurt them, but I feel like it's going to help you. See, this is what they're saying. They're saying that, look, you may have already went somewhere and got it. If you holding back from me, I, I see you. I, I can't reach you here. It's like this person is studying your actions or the lack of actions here. The um, They're studying the lack of actions with you and it's triggering them to think negatively because they didn't do something right. Now, you know, that's the only reason why they worried and stressed because if they if they put it down right and they treated you like you wanted to be treated, then they wouldn't have to worry. So they know that they that they didn't do something. This King of Swords here may have been detached. Maybe you maybe this person wasn't wanting to give in emotionally. See, this person is this person here trying to figure out what's going on. They say, well, they know you're holding back. Are you holding back because you went on and took an opportunity somewhere else for something that they wasn't given? Ooh, see, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries in this four wands energy. That's what they're saying, Scorpios. See, because like I said, because they were taking their time, see. Yeah, they yeah, they could have established something solid. This is why they're trying to come in here now with the six of pentacles. And I feel like this other ace of pentacles is them because they knew that they were taking their time here because this person here, they have to think things through. 
They don't base it on emotion. They have to really think things through and they may have had to think things through too long and you probably got tired of waiting. So as a result, you got out that queen of cups energy. Now you in this, I don't give a crap energy. And, and now they're stressing because they feel like somebody else getting their Scorpios. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now what's up with this two of cups? Ooh, spirit, what's up with this two of cups? This is a partnership. This is a soulmate connection here. Now, do you guys supposed to be able to work something out? But sometimes these two of cups is the most challenging than, than them all here. You do have the four of wands. So I feel like this person feel like you done went and started something else. So I feel like you were in love with this person. This person could have been in love with you too. But in this King of Swords energy, they was not showing it. So let's see. Got the Justice card twice. Spirit, why is the two of cups here for Scorpio's weekend love vibes? Two of cups. Two of Cups, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. See, I feel like this person is imbalanced. See, <laughs> you have this person in their head. You have this person in their head here, Scorpio. See, this person is realizing here, Scorpio, th that they were a contributor to uh, the ending of this connection here. I feel like your person is trying to maintain balance and peace in their life because now this connection is affecting them when they was not, when it wasn't affecting them in that King of Swords energy. Now that you've left this person and you're not participating with them, now it's affecting them. I'm talking about it's really having a field day in their thoughts. Somebody cannot get control. Somebody's trying to, but I feel like they're losing. Spirit, why is the Two of Cups here? Two of Cups. See? See? King of Cups. See that? <laughs> oh, they losing the battle. God dang it. They're no match for Scorpio's love, honey. They thought they were, but see, they ain't even got the Queen of Cups around now. You got the Queen of Wands showing up. So see, like I, like I say, this person's trying to keep themselves together, but they're losing it here because they're in love. Even though they never showed it, they probably went out their way to hide it. But now, like I say, this connection is pulling at them and they're trying to remain. Somebody's trying to uh, have emotional control, but I feel like they're losing it. See, this person got the star card. See, this person's still holding out hope. But I see, look, look at here. You got the star card, <laughs> the death card and the freaking six of cups. See? Because all they do is think about you. But see, look how they're thinking about you. They're thinking about you from the King of Cups perspective. See, they're thinking about you like they should have been thinking about you at first in this King of Cups. Because I'm sure you were the Queen of Cups. But they were the King of Swords detached to the Queen of Cups. So now that things have ended, now you have had to walk away from any emotional uh, attachments you had to this person because... It's hard loving somebody here who ain't loving you back and ain't expressing their feelings for you. So as a result, some of y'all like screw love. I, I don't want that. Nope. Now y'all only concerned about yourself. Now you some of you Scorpios are about to be selfish with your Scorpio love and it's hurting them. Because like I say, this person here is trying to stay hopeful and this person wants to heal it after this breakup, after this death energy. Like I said, cause they, that's all they do is think about you, but they want to come back. <laughs> you got the death card showing up twice. You got Aquarius energy. You got Scorpio energy. You got uh, Libra, Libra. You got Aries, Gemini. See there? This person's in there. Like I said, this person's trying to hold themselves together here and trying to be patient. But they're stressing out. They are because this is affecting them. They don't want nobody else to have that cup now. See, because now they're in love. They've been in love, but they just they, they didn't want to show it. See there. See what see what you get when you don't see you got to show. Then I see either you can need to tell. Really, you need to do all the above. Now, see, you know, Scorpio needs that affection. Scorpio needs that validation and know that you're in this relationship with them and that Scorpio is not in this relationship loving you by themselves. Because after all, in the two of cups, there are two cups. You can't love them for them. You got to Scorpio can only love you from Scorpio's perspective, but Scorpio expects the same in return. This is why you got the justice card showing up twice. Reciprocity, balance here, give and take fairness here. 
And I feel like this is what Scorpio was saying. They wasn't getting this out of, out of. So this is for the cross watch. I'm just saying. This is what Scorpio was saying. It wasn't balanced. Because Scorpio was giving. You was not giving back. But love was definitely there. But love was not being reciprocated. And Scorpio couldn't love. Scorpio couldn't keep this relationship together by Scorpio self. Is all I'm saying here. So now whoever this person is. They're having it bad. They want your attention back on them in that queen of cups, but they're going to mess around and get that queen of wands where you don't care. And like I said, now it's stressing this person out because I feel like you, 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 MIA, you only focusing on healing yourself here. And, and like I say, when they can't reach you, you're not responding to this person. Cause see, they want to come back and offer they, they want to come offer you love now. See? But it's stressing them out because you're not responding. You're not even available to this person because they're stressing out because they're trying to figure out where is your attention now. See, they want their attention back on them. But the more that they try to figure you out, the more this person feels like you're holding back from them because you done took an opportunity somewhere else because they was taking their own sweet time about bringing you yours. OK, I'm just telling you, cross watch. I'm just telling you now. Look. It don't take a lot to please Scorpio. It really don't because Scorpios are loving, uh, nurturing energies anyway. But God damn, Scorpio can't love you for, for you. You're supposed to love Scorpio on your own. Why is it so hard to show someone that you care? I bet you wish you would have shown Scorpio now. <laughs> oh, snap. I bet you wish you would have shown and told Scorpio now, don't you? Hmm. I'm just saying, I bet you do now, though. <laughs> now you have justice again. <laughs> Spirit, why is justice here for Scorpios? Clarified justice could be dealing with the Libra. Why is this justice here? Justice is the five of wands here. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, you know, now this is external conflict or inner conflict, competition, fussing, fighting, arguments. It could represent that this person's going through inner, inner, inner turmoil and inner conflict here. See, because they don't like their thoughts. <laughs> yeah, but you remember after the six, before the six of the five. So it's like whatever, whatever tools that they use to not uh, engage in this soulmate relationship they don't want to deal with the mental anguish that is affecting them now because they're affected by it now. See? To a sword. They tired of their thoughts messing with them. Somebody is so tired of their mind messing with them. Somebody don't like this place that they're in. This hopelessness here. Because it's almost like, I once had your love in Scorpio and I can't let go. I once had the love in Scorpio and I can't let go. It's like somebody is really realizing, God dang, I, I, if, if I could just have it like it used to be. If I could just have you back on me like you used to be. I ain't found nobody to jock me like you again. There's only one professional jocker and that is Scorpio. See there, you don't miss your water till your well runs dry. And that's on point blank, period. Somebody feel like the walls are closing in on them. They say the fried chicken don't taste good no more. <laughs> they don't have nothing to look forward to no more. You ain't calling them. You ain't blowing. They, you ain't sending them books. <laughs> you ain't sending them paragraph books, messages. <laughs> You're not saying nothing. Because for some of y'all, either you really don't care or you're putting up a good front. For some of y'all, this is the best energy to be in. So make them think. Make them really appreciate what they could have had if they would have treated you right. All right, Spirit, justice for Scorpios. Why is justice here? Page of staffs here. I see the hermit car here because I feel like somebody needs some spiritual enlightenment here. I feel like somebody was immature and I feel like someone feels outed. I feel like someone feels like they're outside of your circle now that they put themselves in. 
it's almost like, you know, you know what I'm realizing, Scorpio? It's like, it seems like our love be so, so powerful and so much to we overdo it. Think about it. People here, here who you used to give, 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 however you give family, friends, relationship, however, when you finally realize that it's not being reciprocated and you finally stop giving, they feel like you doing them wrong because it's almost unheard of. It's almost like people don't actually believe that Scorpio should do this because in their mind, you're such a gullible, hopeless romantic. And most people play on that. And it, and it really boosts their ego up. But you really be sincere about how you feel. But to find out that your emotions were taken for granted, yeah, that's, that's going to make somebody move on. And that's what I feel like you did. Now you have the lover's card. Mm. Spirit, why is the lovers here for Scorpio Gemini energy? Why is the lovers here? Mm. The tower. Scorpio energy. Look at you. Gemini and Scorpio. Now what happened? <laughs> You rocked the whole foundation. <laughs> you brought it down when you ended things, huh? Or maybe somebody else's relationship is falling apart because this person's too busy trying to get your attention back. I feel like there was a major blow to somebody's life when things ended, Scorpios, because they no longer had their Scorpio lover to run to, to feed off of. See? Oh, wow. For some of y'all, this is somebody else who they were with, Scorpios. Maybe this is why this person was detached. And this is for some of y'all because you have the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords in the reverse here. See? Something came down over there because they person too busy grieving you, trying to get you back. Maybe this is why. See? The lovers. The tower here, something came down with the lover here, another lover. So this is why this person was detached here. So this is why you have the six of pentacles here too, because this person was given somewhere else here. This, I knew it was some. this is why you left them. And see, but look, they was in a karmic relationship here. See, this king of swords was with this toxic queen of swords here. And that just came down here. And I feel like it came down was because you're not around Scorpios. And besides that, I feel like you and this Queen of Wands energy. See there? And you just got this Queen of Wands energy. And you got this person here trying to sneak back into your life or sneaking around your energy trying to figure you out. That Seven of Swords energy. Mm-hmm. See there, Scorpio, see, this is what I feel like. I feel like somebody here who took you for granted because they was in an unhappy relationship. <laughs> now they didn't fell in love with you. Now their relation, their other relationship then came down because they're in love. See, this is, this is how bad you, this is how much you affected your person here. It's causing conflicts with their other person. <laughs> see, two of cups, temperance. The King of Cups and the Death card, they're trying to maintain peace, but this person's all over the place in their emotions here. From the King of Swords, see, they're the King of Swords with this Queen of Swords, but see, they're in love with you. But see, they did you so wrong to you not even showing up to reciprocate that back to them. Because I feel like you said, look, I not already tried. No, no, no. I not already tried. Pardon to give you my love and you ain't want it. So I'm going to go somewhere else. <laughs> Queen of Wands energy. So now you have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to come to you, Scorpio. They want to do this. The Ace of Pentacles and the Fool card. You already have the Ace of Pentacles here. Like I said, this person, <laughs> this person, I feel like this person got you confused with the person who they had at home. This Queen of Swords in the reverse, okay? Because they're the King of Swords, but they didn't know who they was messing with. You wasn't that person. Maybe this is how, why this person was treating you so detached and so cold because they were used to this. Maybe it didn't take much for the relationship that they were in. Well, it, something happened because it came down. All right, Spirit, the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpios. Why is this other Ace of Pentacles here? 
Ace of Pentacles. Mm. C, 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 C. Two of Cups. C. <laughs> they all over there worried about you today. Relationship falling apart. Okay. <laughs> Snap spirit, watch the ace of pentacles here. <laughs> mm -mm, that's what I see. See, the hermit. See, spirit, this person I already know what they want. See, the seven of pentacles, because this person wants to plant seeds and grow with you. All right, spirit, ace of pentacles. Why is this ace of pentacles here? Taking stock. This person's been taking stock. See? They want to reconcile with you. See? Because like I say, this person, see? But this is the reason why you ended things. See? But this person is the one that's heartbroken now, Scorpio. I feel like you healed yourself with that four swords. Now you good, 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 good in this Queen of Wands energy. <laughs> I feel like this is why you ended things with this person because this person had this queen of swords over here because of third party situation here, Scorpio. Now your person is feeling this three of swords now because of this ending. King of cups and the death card, see? So now you have the fool, Aries energy. Why is this fool card here, spirit? Clarify the fool. The fool is the two of swords. <laughs> I feel like this person's trying to go in. It's like they ain't trying to hear nothing. They don't want to see nothing. See, this person's trying to come to you. And, and I feel like this person had to overcome what they were denying, first of all, in this two of swords. God dang it. See, 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 see. This person was trying to deny it with that two of swords. But once again, they slowly making their way to who? To this Queen of Cups. But for some of y'all, you're in this Queen of Wands energy now. They're coming for the Queen of Cups. <laughs> but for some of y'all, y'all ain't in this Queen of Cups energy. See, this is who they coming for. It's like somebody finna go on and take a chance here. Somebody here who 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 I feel like spirits is taunting this person. They can't they can't deny it anymore. See, they're, put, they're led to you. This person is led to you to come and see, like I said, some of y'all turned y'all emotions. Y'all done turned your back to this person emotionally. Now here they come. Look, they go a hand stuck out right there. See, but your hand, your, your hand is not receiving them because your back is to this person. Your, your, your energy is in a different direction because I feel like you're not trying to hear this person because I feel like for some of y'all, Y'all out of that Queen of Cups energy, you and this Empress energy, because you don't want to hear nothing. You don't want to hear nothing. See, there she go again. See? See? This is who they're looking for. It's the Queen of Cups, but they're going to meet the Queen of Wands energy. See? They're going to meet the Queen of Wands, who is litty, lit, lit. You got a lot of success. You got a lot of good energy around you in this Queen of Wands because you, you, you see you see how spirit is shining on you? After, after you got out of your emotions, you healed yourself. You're not as emotional. You're not detached. You're independent. You're doing your own thing. See? Now here they going to come back now on their hands and knees, on their bending knees. They finna beg you back because please believe you are this person's wish fulfilled with the star card. You are... There they go again with the six of cups. See, they coming back to you because they say you're their destiny. And once again, they regret losing. You see, they focusing on them two of cups now, ain't they? But they had to lose you in order to appreciate you, Scorpios. And this is what I feel like spirit is saying. Your soulmate has to lose you before they can appreciate you, especially because, see, you're not going to come back the same to them. This is going to make them appreciate you more because you ain't they, they can't come pick up where they left off. But even but I, like I said, I feel like this has helped them, though. It's freed them out of this other situation here. It freed them out of this. See, it freed them out of that. So now they can't do nothing but come and keep it real. 
this person is ready to sh give you your flowers now, Scorpio, is what spirit is saying. You remember, you got a lot of success coming around you. You got this two of cups with this ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. Fool card, like I said, this person's going to go, go out on the limb because they're not sure what you got going on. This is why they watching you. And some of them are, are this is, is going to be a leap of faith because they feel like you're holding back. Or there's a possibility that you could be holding back because you done went and started somewhere else because they was taking their time because they had this other situation going on. So, yeah, they scared because like I say, when you don't respond to this energy, it triggers them and they get to thinking all types of things, especially if you ain't that loving, nurturing queen of cups no more. You showed up as this queen of wands here. They want the queen of cups because they're finally admitting to themselves that they are in love with you. But for some of y'all, you just feel like it's just too late. At least that's what y'all going to tell me. <laughs> that's what y'all going to tell me. But I feel like it ain't never too late. Cause look, that queen of wands instead of showing up. Like I feel like here, I feel like y'all on some old, y'all on some different stuff now, Scorpios. See, I told you, see, they trying to come back. But they're going to be met with this. See, they're going to be met with you. They're going to be met with the Queen of Cups, all emotion. Hey, baby, I see you done lost some weight. Well, let me, let me go heat up this food. Babe, babe, baby, did you take your medicine? Did you take your medicine, baby? <laughs> Y'all ain't finna be saying ish. <laughs> you be like, fool, what? <laughs> See, they finna come back to the Queen of Wands. They think they coming back to the Queen of Cups, but they coming back to the freaking Queen of Wands, Scorpio. The Queen of Wands, Scorpio, that just really don't care. And they gonna find out that you got a lot of attention already on you. You are shining. You are popping next. There's a lot of attention on you, like I said, see? Because you got the Sun card. Leo, some of y'all dealing with the Leo here. It's like this person... You could have been sad and out when you ended things with this person, but this person going to look at you like you're a whole different person now because you, you, you done recuperated from that. And now you in beast mode again. They done messed around and pulled the other side of Scorpio out. And now they looking silly because they still want you back. They, they know they did wrong. And look, Scorpio, they done lost their other relationship, but they don't care because they say if they don't have you, then they not winning anyway. <laughs> And that's for real, for real, Scorpio. But this is your weekend love vibes, love reading, part of your joyous June love energy, Scorpio. So if this video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, consider becoming a Patreon member, too. Uh, you can check out my community board. You're going to have to stroll through, but I did post a Patreon link, I believe, or the, the tab to that. Uh, feel free to check that out as well. And if not, I appreciate your likes, your shares, your high vibrational comments. That's just fine for me. Thank you so much for everything you do. And I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.